Tyrone Power was one of the most beloved swashbuckling heartthrobs of the mid-20th century, but his story is significantly more scandalous than you might realize. Power seduced some of Hollywood's most sought-after leading ladies and a few of Tinseltown's most eligible bachelors as well. He's been called Hollywood's first action star, but even though he was tremendously talented and no doubt dedicated to his craft, his career eventually faltered. He was married three times, and it's speculated that his many extramarital affairs may have contributed to the decline of his Hollywood career. Join Facts First as we explore the life and career of one of classic Hollywood's biggest flames and how he may have ended his own career with his numerous affairs. Tyrone's Life and Career Tyrone Edmund Power Jr. was born in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1914. He was a frail child prone to illness. While he was still young, his family relocated to Southern California in the hopes that the warmer climate would be better suited for young Tyrone's fickle health. After his parents got divorced, however, Tyrone and his sister Ann Power returned to Cincy to live with their mother. Tyrone attended school while developing his love for theater and acting. Even though he was raised by his mother, he stayed in touch with his father, who actively encouraged him to chase his dreams of acting. His first job in the entertainment industry was serving as a stagehand for his father during his production of The Merchant of Venice in Chicago. A year later, he was there to hold his dad as he unexpectedly died from a heart attack. Despite being strikingly attractive, young Tyrone struggled to find meaningful work in Hollywood. Early in his career, he appeared in a few minor roles, but then he traveled east to do stage work. In 1936, he landed a contract with 20th Century Fox after a successful screen test. Quickly after that, he progressed to scoring lead roles. Within a little more than a year, Tyrone was one of Fox's most popular leads. He shined in either contemporary or period pieces, dazzling directors and producers in the process. Most of these roles were flashy but lacked depth, and often his physical prowess was lauded more than his delivery of his lines. During World War II, Tyrone served in the Marine Corps as a transport pilot. He even saw a bit of action in the Pacific Theater. Once the war was over, he got right back to acting and proceeded to receive some of his best reviews for his role as Stanton Carlyle, a mentalist whose lies and deception proved to be his undoing in 1947's Nightmare Alley. Even though he remained a major star, many of his post-war films were relatively forgettable. Never abandoning his love for theater, Tyrone continued to do noteworthy stage work while also producing several films. After giving a remarkable performance in Billy Wilder's 1957 film Witness for the Prosecution, Power got to work producing Solomon and Sheba. Halfway through filming, however, he suddenly collapsed during a duel scene with actor George Sanders. He was rushed to the hospital but passed away before he got there. His death was attributed to a heart attack. Before we tell you more about Tyrone Power, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Tyrone's Marriages Power was one of Tinseltown's most eligible bachelors until he married famed French actress Annabella on July 14, 1939. The two met on the 20th Century Fox lot while they were co-starring in the film 1939 Suez. Power eventually adopted Annabella's daughter, Anne, before going off to serve his country in World War II. After Tyrone returned, his marriage began to crumble. One of the reasons was Annabella's inability to give Power the son he always wanted. In a 1947 interview published by Photoplay, Power was quoted as saying he always wanted a home and children, especially a son to carry on his legacy. The war also took a toll on their relationship. Annabella, being a French-born woman, experienced the cruel realities of war earlier than Tyrone did as an American. Once the war had engulfed Europe, she became irritable and unhappy. Try as they did to make the marriage work, it became clear it was doomed. After separating from Annabella, Power began having an affair with Lana Turner. In 1948, Turner became pregnant with Power's child but chose to get an abortion. That same year, while on a goodwill trip around the globe with his friend Bob Buck, Power met and fell madly in love with Mexican actress Linda Christian. Turner believed Power had become upset with her after a story leaked to the press about her dining out with Frank Sinatra. To get back at her for dating another man in his absence, Turner alleges that Power began dating another woman. Regardless of how their romance began, Power and Christian developed a close bond and were married January 27, 1949, in Rome. They desperately wanted to have a child, but after miscarrying three times, they began to lose hope. In 1951, however, Christian gave birth to a daughter named Romina Francesca Power. Two years later, she gave birth to another daughter, Taryn Stephanie Power. 
Around this time, however, Power and Christian's marriage began to fall apart. Christian blamed their eventual split on Tyrone's numerous extramarital affairs, although she also acknowledged she had an affair of her own with English actor Edmund Purdom. In 1955, their divorce was finalized. After the divorce, Power had a long affair with Mal Zetterling, whom he met while on the set of the film Abandoned Ship. Around this time, he vowed to never remarry, seeing as how he'd been dealt a pretty nasty financial blow by his previous failed marriages. After breaking things off with Zetterling, Power had an affair with actress Thelma Ruby. In 1957, he met Debbie Minardos, and the two got married on May 7, 1958. Shortly after tying the knot, Minardos got pregnant and finally gave Tyrone the son he always wanted. Tyrone Power IV, or Tyrone Power Jr., as he would later be billed, once he started pursuing his own acting career, was born January 22, 1959. Rumors of Bisexuality The 1979 book The Secret Life of Tyrone Power, The Drama of a Bisexual in the Spotlight, by Hector Arce alleges that Power was a practicing bisexual who slept with some of Hollywood's biggest male stars. Among those are said to be composer Lorenz Hart and actor Cesar Romero. The latter even gave interviews providing details of Power's bisexual activity after the star's death. While many of the claims in Arce's book have come under scrutiny, it's well known that Power had many gay friends in his inner circle. He was particularly close to gay director George Cukor and actors Laurie McAllister, Cary Grant, Clifton Webb, Reginald Gardner, and Van Johnson. He also was friends with the bisexual eccentric billionaire Howard Hughes. It's also been reported that one of Powers' longest same-sex relationships was with a 20th Century Fox technician with whom he maintained a romance that lasted decades. Like most gay and bi Hollywood stars of that era, Power lived in constant fear of being outed. Although filmmaker Daryl Zanuck was very fond of Tyrone and cast him in several of his films, he was evidently afraid of losing his biggest money-making stars if the truth of his bisexuality went public. After Power married Annabella, Zanuck was reassured that Power's little secret was safely buried, but then he began to worry Power's female fans would be taken aback by the news of their marriage. Throughout his marriage with Annabella, Arce's book claims that Power continued to have affairs with both men and women. It also alleges he carried on a long and passionate affair with Judy Garland around this time. After serving in the Marines, it's claimed Power had a relationship with Cesar Romero while the two took a six-week trip to South America. Rumors of his same-sex liaisons continued to persist throughout his subsequent two marriages as well. In British actor Bob Monkhouse's 1994 autobiography, Crying with Laughter, he claimed that he had rejected Power's sexual advances on more than one occasion. The fashion critic Mr. Blackwell likewise detailed romantic moments he shared with Power in his dressing room in his 1995 autobiography. According to author Charles Higgum in his book Errol Flynn, The Untold Story, Power and Flynn had a sexual relationship as well. Now it's time to hear from you. What part of this story was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.